Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm with Boulder Camper Vans, and today we're going to be checking out one of our 2023 builds. This build is on a Mercedes Sprinter 2500 170 Extended. So we want to show you some of the cool features of this build. One of the first things about this build in the back that you'll notice is this big bed space back here. This is about a queen size bed. We have flares on each side to extend the sleeping space side to side, and it extends it about six feet, four inches in these little cutouts. Another really nice feature about this bed area is we do have these reading lights. They have USB chargers built in on the back of them, and they have three different or sorry, four different light settings with the red setting for if you want to read at night and not bother your partner. Over here, you'll see this custom cabinetry. On this side, we have a shelf, so at night you can put books, phones, glasses, anything small over here. And we provided a USB, USC port, so you can charge your phone, um, iPads, whatever you have. And then if you look up at the ceiling, this is a custom ceiling that we did with LED strip lights. And it really adds some nice depth up there. And then in these cabinetry, you'll see we have these locking mechanisms. And then something really special about this build is we have a projector with a projector screen. So at night you can cozy up, watch some Netflix, because this client also requested a Starlink, so they have internet on the go, can watch movies at night. And then another nice feature that is back here is the Nomadic 3000 air conditioner. All right, so as we move forward in this van, you'll see some other custom features, like this divider wall here with these slats in between, really nice for just hanging dish towels on there. On this side, we have a custom wardrobe. As you can see, there is some hanging storage in here. And then on the other side, there is small shelving storage for pantry stuff, little items you wanna bring. And as we move down, you'll see the microwave is built into this floor to ceiling cabinet with more storage under there. And then this client requested a cabinet for a trash can to kind of hide that. So you'll see the sink here with this custom bamboo inlay, which is really nice to just extend the counter space. And under the sink, this client actually got a ton of storage for cleaning supplies and whatever else you might wanna store under there. And on the bed face, you'll see that we have these two blowers here. This is part of the Rickson's D5 system. So off this system, you get hot air and hot water. And we built in this step here just because the bed is a little bit high up and it makes it super easy to plop down. In this kitchen galley, you can see that they have a Corian countertop something we installed, which is a really nice feature. It's a pop-up outlet. That way you can use other kitchen appliances on this nice open space. We installed this pill window so you can open it for more ventilation while you're cooking and you'll always have a nice view. Up here we have storage for bowls, plates, cup, whatever, cups, whatever you might need. Over here you can see that they have a two burner induction cooktop. Underneath, we have a ton of drawers for storage for all your kitchen appliances, and then we have a 130 liter isotherm refrigerator. If you look down here, you'll see that the client shipped in a Swedish wood floor. And a re another really nice feature about this van is that we have indirect lighting on the floor. So at night, if you want to get up and don't want to turn all the lights on in your van, you can just click for the toe kick lighting to come on and it's low light so you're not disturbing anybody. So over here you will see this is where some of the light switches are for the van. Um, above it is the Rickson's control panel. This is where you control your heat and hot water. Super easy to use. Up here is where your Victron panel is. You can see how much charge your batteries have, how much charge you're getting off the solar alternator and when it's plugged in you can see that for shore power as well again just some extra storage can fit a small duffel bag in there which is really nice 
And then if you look down here, a really special feature that we built into this van. Well, we'll talk about the chair first. Looks like a normal chair. In here, we have a cassette toilet. That's really nicely hidden away with some storage spacing on top. And the reason we built this is you can slide this out and open this up and you have a workstation. So we built this Corian inlay to match the countertop across from it. And we have storage in here as well. It's super comfy and very functional. We also made sure to include 120 volt outlets and a USB port there as well, since you'll probably want to charge or plug in your laptop. All right, so we're at the front of the van now, and you can see this is a true family van. We have this three person bench seat um, with over the shoulder seat belts, which is really great for safety. On each side of the van, you'll see these see our Lawrence T vent windows. They're really nice because they have a little awning that can open and create a nice airflow throughout the van. And the fabric throughout this van, you, the client picked out, we have over 50 different options for fabric. Another thing you'll see on the slider door is this bug screen. These are really nice to have for when you want to have the doors open. Um, you can put this down so no critters are getting in there. Um, over here you see this headliner shelf. This is really great for extra storage. We usually throw blackout shades up there. Over here, you see these two legs. So this, and these are the mounts for the legs. We made this big table system so it could fit everybody. Um, and you'll see this shelf over here as well. It's pretty deep in there because we had to create a lip so you could store things in there without them falling out. And then another really awesome feature of this van is the pop top and we created this custom child gate so when the kiddos are sleeping up there at night, they won't fall through. It's super easy to maneuver. And how they get up there is we have this retractable ladder. And all you gotta do is climb up and I will show you in there. All right, so we are in the garage area of the van now. So above me is the bed platform. Um, this garage is built a little differently than you see in a lot of our vans. Usually we have batteries on one side and plumbing and heating on the other side. We built this garage over the wheel axle since he will be pulling a trailer and we really wanted to think about weight distribution. If you look over here, this is our outdoor shower hookup. Super small, doesn't take up any space and I don't have the plug-in, but all you do is clip something in there, turn this on and you have an outdoor shower. Super easy to use, super compact, very nice. So when you look in here, you see the blower for the Rickson system. You see the comfort hot for the Rickson system. And if you take a look into here, you can see the four batteries we have. This gives you 800 amp hours of battery power. You see that we have the MPPT 100 over 50 solar controller charger. Um, and then when you look over there, you can see the multi plus inverter. And right behind it, that white dish is his Starlink. And down here, you have your breaker system and everything is super nicely labeled so you know exactly what you are dealing with. Um, and then over here in this corner, we have all the valves for the plumbing system along with the water pump for the entire system. So super compact and easy to reach everything because we always build with service in mind and want to make it easy for our team and you as well. So we are on the rear driver's side of the van and one of the first things to know is the shore power plug-in on the side here along with the rhino liner that helps prevent against chips to the paint. 
As we move up, we'll see this side ladder. This side ladder is from Rome Built along with the surf hooks and pole from Rome Built. You'll see the flares out on this side. Um, these are also rhino lined with the slider window. Um, we have the gravity water fill right here. This is super nice because as soon as it's full, it'll start spitting water back out at you. So you'll know that your tank is full. And as you look up, you can see the max tracks mounted to the side of the roof rack. That roof rack is a custom roof rack by Illumines. We have it just on the rear of the van because of the pop top. We have solar panels up there and AC up there, along with three sets of Pathfinder pop lights. If we move back down, we can see that we have Black Rhino Arsenal rims and BF Goodridge all-terrain tires. Along here, we can see we have the awning window. This was the window that was right behind the kitchen galley. We have the Sierra Lawrence T-Vent window right here. And then off the driver door, we have Rome, a Rome built side step. Super nice, these are pretty um, wide, so you'll be able to get in and out of your van very easily. As we come around here, we have a snorkel, which helps with air intake. And as we move to the front of the van, we have the backwoods front bumper with the bull bar. Uh, we also have a worn 12,000-pound 12, 12, winch that will help you in case you get stuck anywhere. As you can see, we have the Rhino liner on the hood too. This is one of our signature looks with all of our vans. And as you look up, you can see the pop top and you can also see this custom light bar mount we built for five LP9 lights. And let me go turn those on for you. Okay, so we are on the passenger side of the van. You can see the Black Rhino Arsenal rims again. And then if you take a peek under here, we did an Agile rip kit along with an Agile brake upgrade. Um, we always do suspension on our vans just to help with how the van drives once we add the weight. You'll see the Rome built side steps on the passenger side and you see it for the passenger door and the slider door. You'll see the Sierra Lawrence T-Vent window from the outside. And then as we move to the back, you'll see the flare space bump out again with the Rhino liner. And as we move around to the rear, we have the backwoods rear bumper with some lights that'll help you see when you might be on a bumpy road at night and need to back into something. We have the Alvans B2B along with the Alvans ski box. These ski box are super limited. Um, so we're super happy to snag one for this client. And then on the other side, you'll see that we have the additional tire carrier for the spare. In addition to the van, our client wanted a standalone trailer. And what he meant by that is he wanted a trailer that has its own battery system and heating system. So when you get to your destination, you can park the trailer, set it up, and take the van wherever you want it. Um, so let's go check out some of the features of this trailer. Okay, so back here we have a bench system, so you can be enjoying the trailer with the door open. Um, this is a Lagoon tabletop. You can plop that into the mount that is right under this bench. And another really cool feature is that this tabletop can turn this bench system into a small bed if you need it. Under the bench on this side is the heating system. So he has the Rixons D5 in his trailer as well. Um, and then under here is where the batteries are. So you can take a sneak peek under there. Everything's really nicely labeled for you so you know exactly what switches you're switching. And then under here 
it's just additional storage. Okay, so in this trailer you'll see we tried to match it exactly to the van. So you'll see this custom ceiling we made with the strip lighting at the top. It gives it a really nice depth up here. You'll see the natural bamboo cabinetry is the same as it was in the van. And then down here you see that the Corian countertops are the same. We also have the two burner induction stove along with the isotherm 130 liter refrigerator. And then over here, this floor to ceiling cabinetry mirrors the one in the van. Um, this one does have more drawer storage. You can see it can fit a lot of stuff in there. And then as we move back here, our client decided to put the shower in the trailer, which freed up a lot of space in the van. So the shower is super spacious. You have this moisture resistant curtain and then you also have the exhaust fan out the top. Something else you will see is the Laveo dry flush toilet. All of our clients love this toilet. It's a battery powered toilet. Um, if you know what a diaper genie is, it's kind of like that for adults. Super self-contained and easy to use and not messy at all, which is great. In the shower, you'll see that we have a custom teak floor that we made, which is just a really nice feature to have. And then the floor in the trailer is different than in the van. It's a little bit more industrial. And if we span over here, you'll see that they have the Rixens controller and the Victron controller as well. And then over here, we have a gray tank drain. We've started using electric ball valve so you can dump with just the push of a button for your gray tanks and up here we have an AC shroud this trailer did come with an AC already built in so we made this custom shroud just to kind of make it fit the feel of the rest of the trailer mm -hmm.